Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about a question that I got from a couple of different teachers asking, hey, if I can uh, if I can put a video on YouTube, how do I retrieve the transcripts off of that? You might not know this, but every video that you submit to YouTube has subtitles to it, unless you choose not to, but uh, it automatically closed captions your videos for you. This can be advantageous if you're trying to uh, pull a transcription of like an interview or something, that, uh, that you've created. Thus, let's get started on this. As I've got my video already uh, on YouTube, it's been there for quite some time, I'm gonna scroll down and click on more, and I'm gonna click on transcript. Automatically, it uh, highlights the whole thing for me, and all I have to do is copy this, and uh, if it doesn't, not a big deal, all you have to do is just click and drag this down, and if you don't see that automatically as well, just uh, click on English, and then uh, it should show up for you. Uh, with that said, let's scroll down once more time. I'm gonna click and drag, highlight all this, and copy it, and then put it into Microsoft Word. And here I've got a blank Word document already prepared. Now, you might ask, you know, what are some ways that I can get rid of the, the time code on that? You know, one way to do that, that's not necessarily the easy way, but I'm gonna to going to uh, move my mouse into the left margin and click and then hit backspace, click, backspace. If you want an even better, faster way to do that, you can go Control H, and that brings up the Find and Replace dialog box. And I can find what? Uh, you can use wildcards with this. So uh, I'm gonna click on Use Wildcards. I'm gonna find, let's say zero, colon. Now you can't just type in two question marks on here. You actually uh, have to go down to the special formatting and type in any character and then any character. And if I hit find next, it'll find that one. If I hit replace, now I'm not replacing it with anything, which basically means it's gonna get rid of it. And it says, hey, well done. You made 24 replacements. Awesome, outstanding. But hey, there, there's more, there's also the ones. Uh, you get the idea, I just replace this with a one. I hit replace all, and it made 25 replacements. So now that I've got all of these blank spaces, what do I do to get rid of those? Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to take out anything that you've got in the find what, and then you see some more characters that show up under the special button down here and all I'm gonna do is look for the paragraph mark uh, how do I know that if I go up and take a look at this is the show non-printing characters so if you click on this there's all these paragraph markers so this could be a little bit dangerous to make sure that I uh, I don't get every single one of these because then you'll just have one big uh, blob of text here uh, so what I'll do is I'll hit find next and it finds it and if I hit replace Boom. I don't want that one. So depending upon how much time you have, this uh, this may or may not be a good fit for you, but uh, it is it is something that gets rid of all of these paragraph markers. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other further questions, make sure you reach out to me. As always, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you uh, hit the notification bell. That way, if any new content's pushed out, you will be the first to know. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day.